Hello, I'm Brenny. And I'm Delaney. And this is 4 Minute Friday Fun. And what are we going to talk about this week? Go formative. Ooh, go formative. Yeah. Does that have to do with formative assessments? Yeah, real time data. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. So go formative. There is a free version and paid version. Don't pay the money for the paid one. You Not get, worth it. And yeah, you get enough with the free one. Yes. Um, it's a tool to check for formative mm-hmm. assessments. So to mm-hmm. gather information about how students are doing, you can yes. use it lots of different ways mm-hmm. as an assignment, a bell ringer, exit ticket, or in the middle of a lesson. Absolutely. And there's lots of UDL connections too. Yep. So if you use the beginning of a lesson, it could be something for recruiting interest, mm-hmm. the end of the lesson, check for assessment. So kind Absolutely. of ga- gauging their effort and persistence, um, options for action expression. There's mm-hmm. lots of different things you could do even when you're answering a specific question in yes. GoFormative, which is why it's yeah. fun. Yeah. We'll show you one of the fun question types Absolutely. that you can answer with. Yes. <laughs> and it's always really entertaining to see what kids come up with. Yes. I was just showing Delaney some of my examples from when yes. I was in the classroom. And Super funny. Quite comical. Yeah. So yeah. let's Try building one. Okay. So we go to new formative, right? Mm -hmm. And you can title it whatever you like. Uh, We had a request from a longtime viewer, shout out to Bill, uh, for (laughs) Daniel Boone, which we know close to nothing about. So this is going to be fun. Yeah. 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 We're going to learn a lot. (laughs) So you can add a question. And do you kind of want to just quickly talk about what yeah these different options are? So the add content side of things are resources that you can have your students mm-hmm. look at before they answer the question. Yes. So it's kind of like a resource to build their understanding and then they show what they know. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Maybe we can just kind of leave that yeah. alone for you can now. You just dig into it on your own. Yeah. I'll yeah. let you explore that one. But this is where all the fun stuff happens. Mm-hmm. So adding a question is basically what you want your question to look like and how you want your students to answer. So you have your general essay, multiple choice, multiple selection, and all that fun Mm -hmm. stuff. The really cool one, though, is the show your work question, which I think is more geared towards math, maybe Mm -hmm. having students show their work on a math problem. But you can use it in any subject area. And that's because on a show your work question, kids can insert a picture from Google Mm -hmm. or from their Google Drive. Mm -hmm. They can draw, so it's kind of like a dry erase board. Super awesome. Which is the fun one. Yeah. Um, They can even just use it as a text box. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like it. It's it's kind of a UDL tool. Yeah, they can use it however they want. Yeah, perfect. So let's do this one. All right. And then our question is just going to be, who was Daniel Boone? Perfect. Does that work for you? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And if you put standards in, you can tag them here. Mm -hmm. We just don't have that done here. (laughs) Okay. So from here, what do we do next? You can set points on it if you want Mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Um, And you can pick the type of assignment. I usually don't even get super specific on this. Yeah. But we'll just do that as a warm up. Yeah. Perfect. Beginning of a lesson. We'll see what they know. So whenever you're ready to send this out to people, Across the top here, you could also add pictures if you wanted to and change mm-hmm. the color, but we're just going to leave this the way it is. Yeah. Assign and share is how mm-hmm. you can share it. Perfect. Now, if you have it set up to where you already typed in all of your class names, you can mm-hmm. do that and they get a specific code to answer. Um, if you do guest students, then uh, what you do on that is you just give them this code. Mm-hmm. That's the one I always do because yeah. I was, I had 150 students. I didn't want to have to go through and type in all of them. All of your students' Maybe names. I was lazy, but yeah, no. this is just the I easy get way of yeah. doing it. For and sure. you have options on how you can share it. You can just tell them to go to goformative.com, mm-hmm. um, use the code, or you could do direct link. And this takes oh, them nice. specifically to it, or mm-hmm. you could embed it. Maybe on oh. your LMS, it's learning. Very cool. Along those lines. Yeah. yeah. So we're just awesome. going to use the code. Mm-hmm. And copy that. We have it open in a student view. You and our name today. We're going to be Daniel Boone. We're going to talk about ourselves. <laughs> you know, might as well go big, right? <laughs> okay. okay. So, who was Daniel Boone? So, show your work. So, this is what comes up. You have your drawing options over here. Um, you can make shapes. Yes. There's your text box, images. Ooh, what does this one do? Oh, it's a selector. Is that what? It, 
Yeah, I think so. Okay. And then erase. So let's, um, because I don't know. Oh, oh, we have to save one of them. Oh, so if I had an image saved, I would put it on yes. there. But since I don't, we are going to um, <laughs> we're gonna be artsy. try to draw him. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. He was a man, so He's we will make good. a we will make a stick figure here, <laughs> because I am not an art teacher and I do not claim to be an art teacher. Well, drawing on a device is yeah, kind of different. Yeah, it's hard. And then he always wore that hat, right? But yes. I don't have brown, so I'm just gonna work with what I have here. It's coonskin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. that looks so there good. we go. <laughs> It's it's really great, I know. Yes. So I love this it. this is Daniel Boone that, <laughs> that looks, I know. <laughs> he looks great. <laughs> so then I'll just click done. And as the teacher, as this is happening, view oh, where view responses. It's just not happening oh. now. Oh, there, there we go. <laughs> you can see it as the teacher and you could pull it up. and You can actually watch them draw it real yes. time. Yes. So that would have been fun to watch me do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. And then you can give them a score mm -hmm. on a sliding scale. I'm going to give myself a full point for it. You did a really because good job. Because why not? You didn't have to tell me this hat, <laughs> you did. <laughs> so there. Yeah. yeah. It's a great school. It's fun. Yes. And it's, it's very really, fun. it's really entertaining. Yes. And honestly, oh, I'm sure. The kids love to draw. Yes. That's the tool they gravitate to most of the time. Absolutely. Except Absolutely. For some laps. Yeah. Perfect. Is there anything else you want to share? Thank you for the Good. suggestion for Daniel Boone. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Have an awesome Friday. See ya.